Welcome back. This is Dr. Jin Sung, where clinical excellence meets excellent results. Today we're going to talk about intermittent fasting. What is it and what are the benefits of intermittent fasting? So let's get right into it. In very simplistic terms, it's basically consuming fewer or no calories over a time frame, whether that would be 10 hours, 12 hours, 16 hours, etc. Right? Intermittent fasting has been used uh, historically for religious purposes as well as some medical conditions. And then if you look at prehistoric times, we're talking about hunter-gatherers. Right? You would go out, hunt, eat, feast, and then you may go a few days without food. So intermittent fasting has been a historical thing. So what does intermittent fasting do? It shifts your body from using glucose or glycogen to using ketones or fatty acids. So if you look at it, it shifts it into a ketogenic state. It uses fuel called ketones. So body's available glucose and glycogen gets depleted over a time frame that uh, it's going to be individualized. Some people will be in a ketogenic state in 12 hours. Some people will be 24 hours. However, it will deplete it and then you're going to use your fat stores or ketones to drive your systems. So what are some of the benefits of using ketones as fuels, fuel as rather than glucose? So intermittent fasting and benefits, right? There are a lot of them, okay? One is weight loss, right? Also improves body composition. So that's one reason. But it also improves cardiovascular risk. It improves uh, one, inflammation, and two, it can improve your lipid panel, like cholesterol, LDLs, improves HDLs, etc. So um, Another one is it decreases blood pressure or helps to improve blood pressure. Another one is it improves glucose metabolism, the body to utilize glucose more efficiently. Therefore, it improves insulin sensitivity, right? So if you're borderline diabetic, you have hemoglobin A1C of 5.7 to maybe 6. You are insulin resistant. Then you can use a ketogenic diet to improve insulin sensitivity because you're not just feeding your body with glucose, you're able to give it a break and you're using ketones as fuels. Now, it also improves fasting insulin, so your first morning insulin will also improve. Other benefits is that it decreases oxidation, so it can work like an antioxidant, right? So you're not taking in food and you're not processing all that um, carbohydrates and, and, and sugars and etc. So it decreases oxidation, and again, it decreases inflammation. Also, athletes have been using it to improve athletic performance, and not every athlete will do this, or not every athlete will benefit from, from this, but it has been shown to improve athletic imp performance in, in quite a number of uh, people. It will also improve longevity, right? So improve um, uh, basically quality of life longer into um, to advanced ages. Other benefits are it will improve gut microbiome as well as your immune function. So there are a lot of different benefits that come along with intermittent fasting and it's become quite popular in certain populations. So it's important to understand why you would do it, what the benefits are, and in some patients you have to be cautious, right? If you have advanced type 2 diabetes or you have type 1 diabetes, I would suggest you know, using a provider who knows what they're doing to help them guide them through that process, right? Because you want to make sure they're not going to go into um, ketoacidosis, uh, which can be quite dangerous for that person. So it's very important for that patient to understand what's going on with them. So on our next video, we're going to talk about all the different types of intermittent fasting so you can get an idea of what you might fit into your lifestyle and what the benefits you can reap from it. Okay, my name is Dr. Jin Sung, where clinical excellence meets excellent results, and we'll see you guys next week on the healthy side. Have an awesome day.